The end of the year is just as exciting and nerve-wracking as the beginning of the year. We spend so much time in the beginning of the year establishing routines, practicing behaviors, and going over the rules and regulations for having a successful year. Then all of a sudden, May hits, and they get this bug, this excitement, this anxiety almost, that they're ready for the end of the year, and all the rules go to the wayside. It's incredible to watch this happen, but we have to remember as teachers and leaders that we have to keep them on their best, to challenge them to be their best. And even though their bodies want to wiggle with excitement for summer vacation and for ending their school year, we've got to keep that bar high. Make sure that if they forget how to line up or how to sit on your carpet or how to do your routines, that you go over it and over it again and challenge them to be ready for the next year of school. For example, I teach pre-K this year, so I'm already calling my students kindergartners. But when they're not acting like kindergartners, we go back and practice again. Just like I said in the beginning of the year, practice, 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 and at the end of the year, continue that, keep the bar high, and help them end the year on the right note.